Hey everyone, this is my review on the Transformers series series, number 50, The Lux Class, World War II Hot Rod, from Transformers The Last Night. First, let's talk about the packaging. As you can see, it has an image of Hot Rod right here, from Transformers The Last Night. On this side, you have an image of Hot Rod. On the other side, you have a close-up image on his face. And on the back, it shows product shots of him in his robot mode and vehicle mode, transforms in 24 steps, and the bio says, Hot Rod teams up with Bumblebee to provide serious firepower during an assault on an enemy stronghold. That is it for the packaging. Now let's talk about the figure's accessory. He comes with this nice gun here. Has some nice detailing with kind of a reddish-orange paint right here for the bullets, and also some gray. I scope the detail here, the barrel right there, can plug onto his hand, like that. I wish he came with two, like it's shown on the box, but I guess it's kind of fun, maybe. There's a place you can store it right here. It doesn't really show it on the packaging, I just figured it out. Just plug it in right here, and then just rotate that back, and then you can store it like that if you want to. Now, talking about the figure, he has some problems. It's kind of hard for him to stand right here because his backpack, I know it was on the World War II Bumblebee, but the backpack and also he has floppy joints, and that doesn't really go well with this figure. A big backpack and loose joint doesn't, doesn't really go well. It's floppy, and also the swivel right here is extremely loose. It's not loose on this side at all. It's only on this side. The backpack keeps constantly getting stuck on these stick feet. For the details, he has a nice head sculpt here. It's pretty nice. Got a um, little symbol right here on the shoulder. I don't know what that is. Silver paint right here for a part of the arm and some orange right here. Nice detailing on the chest area. Some silver paint right here for the belly, and I don't know if you can see it, but there is some detail right here. Come over to the back, if you just flip this up. I kind of wish this was on a pin, or I mean like a friction joint, I mean, instead of on a pin. Then that means it will be easier to move. Dude, got some details right here. The back would look a lot cleaner with that off. And got some details on the back of the legs. Details right here for the legs. Got some symbols right there. D dot dot two. Don't know what that means. And details right here for feet. I like the gray and orange kind of color scheme. It also looks like he has green eyes. Huh. Uh, trying to get him to stand. Okay. That is it for the details. For some size comparisons, here he is next to the previous hot rod that we got. The Lamborghini hot rod. Just freaking stand, please. Here we go. And I don't really have any other last night pseudo series figures, so here he is with off road Bumblebee. To go with the military vehicle theme, I guess. That is it for the size comparisons. Now for articulation, he has a ball joint at the head, can look up that far, not really down that far. Do got some head tilt, arms can move out, can go up and down. He's got a rotation right here, there's, there's a fucking gnat in my room. Or mosquito, I don't know what the hell that is. Keeps flying around me. I'm afraid it's gonna go in my mouth. <laughs> He's got a soft ratchet at the elbow. You can go 90 degrees, and I guess you can call this hand articulation due to transformation. He does have a waist swivel, which is nice. Legs can kick up that far. Can't really kick back because the backpack is hindering it. Do got a rotation right here. Well, let me just show it on this side because it's loose as hell. He's got about a 90 degree bend at the knee, and that's about it for the articulation. Just fell over again. Now for the transformation, you guys already know how to transform because this video is kind of late. And if you already have the World War II Bumblebee, I'm not really going to show the transformation, so just going to cut right to him in his vehicle mode. And here we have Hot Rod in his vehicle mode, and it doesn't really look that bad for some size comparisons. Here he is next to the Lamborghini Hot Rod. 
I really do hope we get a Studio Series figure of him. And here he is next to Off-Road Bumblebee. That is it for the size comparisons. Now, I don't really like... This thing right here just won't tab in. I don't know why. Maybe because of these arm things. It just won't tab in. And then this keeps coming up every time I try to tab it in. It just really bugs me. But it's not that bad of a vehicle mode. I do like the black and the grayish. I really like that. It makes it like that the gray, what used to be black paint, but it just worn off because of all the battles that it was in, I guess. You can store the gun right here. It just slides in like that. You just close like that, but it won't really close. Or you can plug it in up here if you want that. Gonna keep it right there, or, or or you can just not have anything right there. Looks kind of plain and boring without the turret though. But I really do like it. I like all. I like the black on it. Wish it was kind of more black on it. It's fine. Got pencil to wheels so it can roll very nicely. You got the back of the feet sticking out right there, but it's fine. You can deal with it. Some nice detail right here. Got a grill right there. Silver for the headlights. Got some, um... Crates. Can you... Can, can that damn mosquito gnat get the fuck out of here, please? Got some boxes right here with some silver paint for, I guess, the straps to keep it on there. It's the same thing on both sides. Well, it's a pretty nice vehicle mode. I really do like it. Like it. I like it better than the World War II Bonebee one, which is just a plain green. I'm glad this one not is not just a plain gray. If it was just a plain gray, it would look horrible. But I'm glad that they have some black on there. For the bottom, here it is. The head hides very nicely, but it is basically a shell former with all the parts right there with the arms in there. Got some grill right there, grill detail right there. When you get everything snapped in, these will stay right, like that. It's just that this. And this part and this just won't tab in that well. We're all that's it for the vehicle mode. Now he has to get him back into his robot mode. And overall, the figure ain't bad. The details are nice. The articulation is pretty nice. The weapon is pretty nice. The vehicle mode is pretty nice. It's just the backpack, the loose joints, and all the tabbing problems that make this figure not have a higher score. So overall, I will give Hot Rod a 7 out of 10. This is my review for Hot Rod. i see you in the next one. Bye.